Hi everyone, my name is Cameron and I'm with the Friends of the Mount Vernon Trail. We recently finished mapping the entire 18 miles of the Mount Vernon Trail and uploaded the footage to Google Street View. This video will review the steps we took so you too can upload footage to Google Street View. First thing you need is the correct camera. We used a GoPro Max strapped to a helmet for capturing our footage. Number two is the correct camera settings. After some testing, we found that the 360 video setting, no time lapse, provided the best footage and uploaded correctly onto Google Maps. Google Street View needs GPS data with your video. Before every mapping session, ensure that your camera's GPS is turned on. So let's go through the process of uploading some footage to Google Street View. The other day I went out and captured a section of a trail in Arlington, Virginia that is currently not on Google Street View. After coming home, I uploaded the footage and reviewed it on the GoPro Player software. I only want to export a portion of the full video. So the first thing I do is click on the trim or the scissor icon and trim the section that I want to upload. Once the area you want to export is selected, click Export Trim. This will bring up the export settings. Click Advanced Options. For exporting, we have chosen the HEVC setting. The most important thing you need to include is checking the Retain GPMF data. Choosing Retain GPMF data will export the GPS data with your footage. After exporting is complete, your footage will save to your computer as a .mp4 file. Lastly, you'll want to upload your footage to Google Street View Studio. Depending on the size of your file, this will take several hours to upload. But once uploaded, Google will process the file and inform you if there are any issues. We have found it takes less than five business days between uploading the file and when it's published on Google Street View. Well, that's it. So in summary, go outside and capture your own footage. See you on the trail.